Hi, Capricorn. This is your reading for August. Okay. So let me focus here for Capricorn. What are the messages for Capricorn? For August. All right, let's take a look. I have the Three of Swords in reverse and the Six of Pentacles upright, the Knight of Cups in the challenge position. Oh, wow. The Ten of Swords and the Fool. All right. So that is our major arcana. Let's see what's underneath the two of pentacles. So let me get this set up and we will get started. Okay, thanks. All right, Capricorn. My goodness gracious. Okay, I'm trying, let me look at this. Let me add these numbers. So we have eight. Plus three is 11. Three. Wow. This has been happening quite a bit in my readings where like the number, there's um, everything adds up to usually like a number in the reading of great importance. So if I added everything correctly, uh, the, it's the number three. And the number three is at the heart of the matter. So what I get from this is obviously, uh, for example, August 3rd might be very an, an important date. August 12th, August 21st, maybe August 30th. Uh, that is going to have some importance to you. I also feel that um, this is our underlying theme. There is a big decision for quite a few of you, and I'm picking up in terms of, I feel like this is a move, but I also feel like this is definitely in love, in a relationship, like the heart is at the center. Now, I am picking up for some of you, this may have uh, there may be a loved one or something. Doesn't have to be anything major, even though the Ten of Swords is here. I do like it better in reverse. I almost feel like there's healing taking place. This could be a loved one, a relative, a close friend of not just matters of the heart in terms of love, but I also feel like maybe somebody had some type of surgery done. Uh, th this definitely could be heart surgery or a stint put in. It doesn't have to be anything major um, with the heart, but um, but I do feel that. I'm also getting... Hmm, something about a brother. I'm not sure what this is. But there's, I feel like a brother is of importance to somebody. This could be that, you know what I'm getting? I think that I'm getting like a, I don't know if this is a motorcycle. It could be a horse. I wonder if there was an accident. I almost feel like it's someone's anniversary, like of they lost a, a brother or something like that is, is kind of what I'm getting. And I think this August is the anniversary, is how this is coming across to me. Um, so I feel, my, my condolences, I feel like this has happened though. This is, uh, I wanna make that clear. Um, I'm also getting Gemini. Gemini, I feel, may have some big importance uh, to you. Now, the full card is here. This is our major arcana, and this is Aries, which obviously is a fire sign. But I, I feel that um, 
somebody is very much torn. I picked this up in another reading. Was it, I think it was Cancer and, or Scorpio. But I, there's a decision, I think, to be made regarding a situation that could be involving three people. This may be happening around you, um, but I, I feel like some of you are part of the three. You may have the decision to make. So, for example, I feel like in love, there may be two people. Um... And you're having to decide what direction you want to go in. Now, this could also be two totally different careers or uh, even in school. Like there's a decision to be made in terms of what path to go on. And you're having to decide that. Um I also am getting travel, so I feel like somebody is either inviting you. I'm getting to, I'm getting like this is possibly a wedding. Someone is traveling for a wedding or uh, an engagement party or something. But there's, I almost feel like there's kind of a challenge, um, especially with the Knight of Cups here. This is in our challenge position. Now, and this is a water sign, does not have to be. So I want to make that clear. And it doesn't have to be a male. It could be a female. But I feel like there is a challenge with this person. So I feel like somehow they are offering you something, but there's possibly a lot that comes with it. So, for example, maybe uh, they're asking you out or inviting you to come see them or they're hoping to come and see you and that's why I'm picking up the travel but I almost feel like if this person just ended a relationship or or they just got separated legally, don't rush into anything because I feel like they still have some healing to do. Now, this could also be you and that you, okay, I keep hearing fools rush in. Now, I know that was a movie, but we also do have the fool card here. So don't rush into anything because Somebody definitely is getting over a situation where they felt like they were stabbed in the back uh, or um, now or they were they were let down. It's and this person is kind of. I feel like if this is not you, this is somebody around you, and if you're part of the three or the decision, and, and let's just say they pick you and they decide, okay, I'm going to end this other situation, um, I, I just feel like they may be able to just give you enough, and that's why the six is here. It's, it's like they're giving, see how he's giving, but it's, you know, kind of just enough. It's not really what you, you know, want. Maybe it satisfies you, but it may not, you know, be enough. And hopefully, though, you're in this position and not this position. But see, we have three figures here, along with the three of swords, along with everything adding up to a three. So, I feel like there's, I can't ignore a love triangle um, in this case, that there could be that going on, or, you know, it could be that somebody, um, if it's not you, that somebody possibly, um, you may have started a relationship, this person was available, but then all of a sudden in August, somebody is coming back in from the past. This could be... Um, that you're involved with somebody and somebody from your past is returning. I also feel, and I did pick this up, I think it was for cancer, because I almost feel, or no, 
No, I think it was Scorpio. It was not Cancer. I almost feel like somebody is, you know, kind of feels bad for something that they did. Uh, and they may be returning in August, like as an apology, because I'm seeing this as a, like they're apologizing. But uh, <laughs> with these cards here, I feel like you're saying, um, no, I'm enough is enough. I'm not going there anymore. And that's what you're doing. You're kind of setting yourself free. You're releasing yourself from this attachment. So this, you know, I don't know. I got the three brothers. There could be three brothers involved. This could also be a family business. This could be, um, something regarding like you know in like relatives there's a division but this also could be three business partners this could be three people in terms of the workplace where there's been some kind of gossip or backstabbing or something like that um and it definitely can be in love uh and i just feel like you know, somebody has, like, they, there's things that, see how this is just up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, and it's it's gotten to the point where, you know, you may not want to be a part of this anymore. Uh, this could also be some type of legal dispute or uh, around, I'm picking up children. There may be three children involved in this situation also. I also am getting like, uh, for some reason, like headlights on a vehicle or a motorcycle like make sure that the lights like if you don't if a light is out just make sure the light is on i mean go get that fixed is something else that i'm picking up and um i also i'm getting something very creative it's i i think some of you or I guess this would make sense with August coming because I feel like going back to school. I, I get the feeling like somebody is returning back to school or maybe there's heartache because the child is leaving the nest, although they're not really a child anymore. They're, a, they're an adult, 18 or, you know, but if, you know, they're always going to be your children. Um, <laughs> And there could also be news of triplets is, is another thing that I just uh, picked up on. So there could be news of triplets um, that would be arriving or three. I don't know. I'm getting like three embryos. Three, three is just going to be of significance to quite a few of you. Um, but I definitely feel like I'm also getting... Um, Okay, I heard somebody is skating on thin ice, so be careful because the you know every card I always say has its positive and or negative, so be careful with reckless behavior or um, you know because uh, I don't know I'm getting three strikes you're out. I think that's a California law. Um, I don't know if that's all over but um, but I also am getting like not just um, baseball but I'm also getting like in terms of um, I, well I also heard three three times the charm so this can represent I, I definitely feel somebody is leaving the nest somebody is leaving the home which makes total sense because we have a 10 right nearby 10 is the end of a cycle uh it gets reduced to a one which is obviously a new beginning um and the fool is the beginning of the major arcana for me so i i feel like somebody is setting themselves free uh of some situation now this may even be being released uh from a relationship from a job 
like I said earlier, going on a new career path. I'm getting, though, something very creative, very light. I, I uh, like, career, yeah. I don't know if this is fashion design. Somebody's going to school for that. Um, I'm also getting ice skating. And I think that's why I heard skating on thin ice because, well, somebody may have been skating on thin ice somewhere in the world. Um, th that obviously implies much more, you know, many meanings. It could be physically uh, skating on thin ice because I keep seeing a skater. Um, okay, let me see what else here. But I, I'm just getting that there's, uh, there's healing taking place. And I, I personally like to see these cards, if I'm going to see them at all, in reverse. But I do feel like there has been for, you know, a few of you, some major loss or this could even be sig uh, like signified depression, sadness. So it's not just matters of the heart. Um, hopefully there's nothing related to drinking because I'm picking up alcohol or alcoholism. So be careful of like too much partying in August or, uh, you know, if you, if you party too much, have somebody else drive, you know, something like that. Um, but I think that with the fool, it's like as one door closes, something else is coming in. Something else is going to open up for you. There's a new opportunity and... If these are going to come up, like I said, I'd rather see them in reverse because I feel like there's healing and um, I also feel like somebody's waiting for some kind of insurance payment or money to come in. It's almost like they possibly had to borrow money for a surgery or for some type of uh, medical necessity. And they're just waiting for insurance to come through. Now, I some of you, I would not be surprised if you're getting messages from somebody who has crossed over. And this could be a brother figure, a male figure. Because I'm also picking up military. And... There could be some legalities. Once again, I'm getting drawn to alcohol, like DUI, whatever. Uh, I don't know what it's called in other countries, but, you know, just like I said, have um, somebody be driving for you. But uh, definitely, uh, I feel like a major decision that is either going to be made for you or you you know or it affects you in some way maybe not directly but maybe indirectly or a decision that is um that you are going to be making so and um endings and new beginnings all right wow so three Three is going to be significant now uh, also with three to me that represents growth it represents expansion and uh, initial achievement of goals. So as you close one chapter, another one opens and there's infinite possibilities. See here with the egg, it's just like a, a little, like, um, you know, a little baby, like a, a bird is <laughs> how, so, you know, they're, it's just so fragile, whatever this is, but I feel like you're going to take off and, and soar, you know, fly. Now, some of you, this also could be indicative of moving. It's so not just traveling. I, I, you know, I said earlier, and it could be that you want to move or you want to travel, but there just isn't quite enough money yet, and that's kind of holding you back. Um, but I definitely do sense 
that some of you are going to be moving and and maybe it's also moving to kind of help out uh, for, you know, family reasons or um, health related reasons, maybe being closer to family or family wants to be closer to you or something like that. But um, but I think it's important that, you know, you do your best. I mean, I'm glad this is in the upright because there's been some hiccups here and we want to get this as smooth as possible. So, uh, and, and some of this may be a dissolvement of partnership, could be going through legal paperwork to dissolve a partnership of some kind, business partnership, and you're going out on your own, you're striking out on your own. So different messages for different people. <laughs> Capricorn, take care and have a wonderful month. All right, bye.